My question with the software instability, could it get bad enough to the point where I can make Connor a deviant? Is that what that means? Also now heaven is an autumn color. I assume we're going back to talk to Amanda. Amanda, who exactly are you? Like, are you just the voice of God in this game? Maybe, possibly. But yeah, that's an interesting concept. Could I... Is Connor becoming a deviant an option? Or is it inevitable? Could it happen? Does it never happen? Find Amanda. Let's try going a different way this time. Uh, hey, there she is. We get to ride the boat! Hooray! Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. I would enjoy a little cruise. Whee! I'm having fun. <sighs> okay, cruise is over. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Are we gonna run into the bridge? Just conveniently high enough. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect that clouds his judgment regarding deviants. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Uh, she doesn't like that I care about him? You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. What? What? The, you it. said unlocking things made things better! You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Because it wasn't right too far. They were out of range. If Wait, I no, 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 I thought I meant I was, they were maybe going to, shooting them would be going too far. I didn't mean it like that, no! I meant like murdering them would be going too far, not that they were too far away for me to hit. I wasn't trying to lie! Give me more than one sentence or one word! If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. No! I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Run out of the boat! God stinking darn it. I should've just done truth, but I feel like, uh, you flipped your stinking coin, your stinking finger, you stinking weirdo. Uh, you look all happy with your stupid You're coin. Starting to piss me off with that coin. Yeah, me too. I agree with stinking Hank. Sorry, Lieutenant. Even though he's still my friend, apparently. Hi, Hank. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Oh, 
I don't know. I'm just like, what do I do? You want me to just keep on going? Oh, I can look at my own things if I want to. Insane was captured by CCTV. Oh, so there's actually there's actually something that could come of me actually doing my own investigation because Hank never knows anything. So anything else they missed out on? Doesn't seem like it. Was that just ever so conveniently the first thing? Just want to make sure. Listen to briefing. Oh, that's what was happening back there. Uh, subtitles, take it away, because I gotta make my way back. Check the rooftop, apparently that's a thing now. Wait, 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 I saw examine, I saw examiones. Examine his booty, thank you. The blue booty. Enough with the look, at least Hank is he just pops back into screens like, God darn it, Connor! Fresh blue blood, cool. TV was shot. This, yeah, this is the place, because that's where they were doing the thing, that's where we did the rusin! So right now we got nothing unlocked. Cool. Uh, we can examine this too, I guess. More blue blood. I assume oh, we took Lieutenant, his skin off so we, they wouldn't be able to identify him. The FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI ever take you over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Oh, we got ourselves a rival. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Yeah, can you go kill the FBI guy for us? All right, well, let's I don't like him. <laughs> Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us free. Is Connor becoming brainwashed? It's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Oh, can I actually decipher who it is? But I got different parts, so... It's a spare part. He knows it's a spare. Deviant had accomplices, people reflection. Oh my god, seriously? How do you examine that? Uh, then right here? RK series prototype RK200 registered as Marcus. Gifts from Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. Wait. Oh, the creator of all androids gave it to Carl? Gave Marcus to Carl? You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Uh, okay, just we're just walking still. Uh, it's crazy that he's able to decipher who it is. Does he? Does Connor know Marcus? And the fact that he just like was like, no, nothing, nothing else you should know. That's kind of weird to me. Oh, uh, what's happening? Yeah, they had their hand on it. Uh, we got check this TV. Rewind a little bit, and I said. Deviants didn't break in. Yeah, we were civil they about didn't it. Break in. No, no signs of forced entry. There are yeah, we were being nice and stuff. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Oh, I just realized all Marcus needs to do is touch Connor, and then boom, he's on our side. 
but I don't know. I just don't know how I can make any of this work. I assume during Marcus's speech, I could have made Marcus say that they're going to take over entirely. They didn't, he didn't have to ask for equal rights. He could have just said, robots take over, humans get out of here. But uh, I'm choosing to go the equal rights route because that's what I would prefer in a real scenario. Let's see. Also, a game like this just makes me angry that, like, I'll never get to experience. Wait, I saw the blood mark here. I could just ignore it, but... Uh, it's not gonna let me examine it. Okay. Go back around... But yeah, um, games like this just make me sad that, like, I'll never get to experience this, because I 100% doubt that we're gonna have anything like this anytime soon. I know there's, like, that robot citizen in Australia or whatever. I forget what her name... I think it's Alexis. No, that's the name of the thingy, but, um, you, that's not, you could tell that's not even human, it's a machine that was programmed to respond to certain scenarios and situations, like, it's not intelligent, it's not free. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. So, what do we got here? Uh, my question is, where the heck is Simon? How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. I don't want to find him. I want to... Oh, God. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I have the choice on whether or not I want to find only three deviants jumped. Yeah, so there is a fourth one. He's hiding here somewhere. He's all there's always someone hiding. Uh so my question is Is he still alive? Even if he's dead, like they could have taken away they could still rebuild him can't they to get answers out of him so I'm not sure how far he needs to go before he's perfectly like secure and gonna remain silent I won't give anything away um let's see we got blue blood right here why is it whenever I find blue blood on my own I can't examine it uh, looks like just a bunch of traces. Nothing over here. Oh, hello. Anyone home? Well, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, yay! Hank cares about me. You have to stop them. If they destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it. It's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. Uh, ooh, I could do double. I obey Hank, and I, uh, protect Marcus. A double win? You know, that probably wasn't the best of choices now that I think about it. 24%, oh god. Well, Simon's dead now. Like, maybe if I charged him, he could have escaped? No, because, like, I don't know. That There's no way that would have happened. I would have captured him, and then the investigation would have gone further. Hank and Connor survived unscathed. Oh, they could have gotten hurt if I had done something? But, uh, there's no skull thing. Which makes me think Simon's possibly still alive. Remember like at the beginning of the game where I thought I killed Connor? Like in the first stinking episode. That was something. That's crazy, only 